Hey, what's going on, everybody? I go by the name of Dynamite. Welcome to this recap of the Monday night football game, the Chicago Bears and the Philadelphia Eagles. So this will probably be the calmest recap I ever do because it's just serious and this is real. So off the back first, let me start off with the guy in the picture still. To be honest, Carson Wentz should have been in the picture still and I was going to put him in there. But I cover the Bears, so... I'm not going to put another team on my pitcher still because I'm still, you know, Chicago Bears. But I'm going to get into some stuff in a second. Let's just say Eddie Royal looks amazing, catching the ball, speed. And as y'all can see on this punt return right here, he looked real good. To be honest, the way he was directing traffic, he looked a lot like Devin Hester on one of his punt returns. I'm going to say this. We got a few pieces. We got some weapons. Okay? But let me say... First, I want to talk about Dale Loggins, the offensive coordinator for the Chicago Bears, because to me, he is one of the problems. And I, I start my stuff off with the things that's fresh on my mind and the main points I want to cover. So I do mine a little different. And Logan's, to me, it's not the same offense as Gates last year. This was a totally different offense. Jay's holding the ball too long. To me, it seems like Jay is running this offense, like he's calling these plays. There's no set rhythm. There's no chemistry whatsoever in what the Bears are doing. Okay? Now, let me quick talk about Wentz because out of respect, if I didn't mention him, I'd be stupid. Um, they were saying last night that he looked like Alex Smith. To me, what about Peyton Manning? What about Peyton Manning? I mean, I listen to all the buzz and all the hype about Wentz, but with me, I had to see it for myself, and oh, did I see it for myself last night. And it just shows you the night and day of they offense, they rhythm, they quarterback, and not offense and not rhythm. So Wentz, really good, man. He he looks good. There ain't no other way to, to, to call it. And to say that he, to know that he going to be in the league about 15 years, the Eagles did right by trading everything away to get him and to get that draft pick. So my he got my respect. He's good. That's all I'm going to say about him. Okay? But that leads me to the Chicago Bears and Jay Cutler. Y'all go back and watch some of my recaps of the preseason. And just like I said, there was no way that we was going to be able to just switch a button unless a musician came and tapped you guys' head. It's the same stuff. And it's not only the same stuff I'm seeing in the preseason. To be honest, this is a lot of the same things that I've been seeing out of the Chicago Bears the last five plus years. And it seems like I'm watching the same team. No different coaches whatsoever. And for me, I'm tired of it. Before I get into the culture of them, let me just point out a couple of other things from the game. Okay, the field goal kicker that you guys brought in and replaced Robbie Go misses an easy chip shot field goal that started the downhill uh, spiral last night. I'm not going to regret cutting Robbie Go. What I regret is them not renegotiating, trying to, you know, get him to take a pay cut and get him to cut to take like one million a year. You see what I'm saying? That's what they should have did. But they know everything. They smart. I was up with their letting go of Robbie Go. You know, so I'm not going to say, you know, we regret cutting Robbie Go. He's older. He missed a lot. And who's to say he was going to hit the field goal? But you bring in a guy who can't hit a 31-yard field goal? You know what I'm saying? That's on the management and the coaching. They get no pass here. Let's go to Jeremy Langford. You know, he get these little five, three-yard touchdowns and think he didn't did something. I thought Langford was way better. He showed flashes last year. But to me, Jordan Howard should be starting. And I'm glad I mentioned him because he looked good. I didn't want to leave him out. I don't, it's not too much about the game last night. It's about the culture. You know, but again, Howard looked good, and I want to see him get more reps. Okay? So, um, the defense. Just terrible, man. And it's the thing. I know they only gave up field goals. But to give up field goals, the other team has to be driving up the down the field. And that happened again, just like the preseason. Driving up and down the field, but being don't break. Man, I don't want to hear that because when that happens, eventually you go break. And by the time the third or fourth quarter come, the defensive player will be tired. All the Bears players basically got hurt. I'm not even going to start naming names because it's too many. Something else that you can blame on the management and the coaching staff. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, man, there was no chemistry. There was nothing nowhere. This team looks bad, and it was hurtful to watch. Once again, I stopped towards the end of the game, watching all the people leave out of the stadium. You know, we losing at home again. And I don't even know, like, 
this the thing with Cutler. It's just tired and it needs to be, it has to be a new start. You know what I'm saying? We need to hit the refresh button and it's time to let Cutler go. 16, 17 million a year. We need to let that, break that down and spend it elsewhere. But I don't even know if they can draft the right quarterback. To me, the Bears need to do everything from changing their uniforms. They need a new stadium. I don't care if that stadium 14 years or new. We got the worst stadium in the league. Everything about our team is just bad right now. And I'm just speaking the truth. If you people don't like it, you know I'm sorry for that. But if you watch what I watched, you guys should feel the same way. This is just has to stop. We watched the Eagles get a franchise quarterback, and you see how it looked. Jay is like a big, spoiled baby. Every little play that go wrong, he pout. You can see everything in his gestures. And it's like once one bad play happened, it's just over for him. At 33 years old, man, I've just watched this for eight, nine years. It's just time to end it. But it's about the whole culture with the Bears. I mean, it's just time to hit the restart button. Fox... I mean, Ryan Pace going to be forced to try to say that wasn't his coach. That was your coach. That was your pick. You know what I'm saying? So you guys got to go down together. I don't know if we should fire Fox because all let's go do is have us starting from scratch again. They totally rebuilt this roster and this team in the frame of their eyes. So whatever coach come in next, if they was to fire him, they got to deal with the crap that they didn't build and put in there. This display on the field looks terrible, man. We don't even look like an NFL team right now. That's what's bad. To be honest, I wasn't even going to do this video. I wanted to just quit and stop doing these videos because if I'm going to have to do videos of them losing every week, who wants to do that? And then I picked them to go 13-3. and three. This was a game I thought they was going to win. Go back and look at my predictions, man. I'm crushed right now. There's nothing I can say other than the fact that right now we are not a professional team. You know, and let's talk about Pernell McPhee hollering at Jay. Okay, I get that. But how you go holler at somebody and you're not even in uniform? You're not even dressing? And you got the nerve of being somebody ill? Talking about you violent? And you go get all in this face? They look like some street stuff, man. This whole organization is finna go down again, and you can't blame Brandon Marshall. Can't blame Martellus Bennett. Can't blame Tressman. Can't blame Lovey. You know what I'm saying? Look at what what Forte is doing. That's another situation that I felt like they should have moved on before for Forte. But it's proven to be that they hit all the wrong buttons, man. I'm tired of watching this. I'm not even now. I'm not even anxious to watch them at Dallas Monday night, Sunday night, and we got all these prime time games, Thanksgiving in Green Bay. Come on, man. I just think that Cutler should stop quarterbacking the team right now. Go ahead and take the hit for this year. I don't know if it's gonna be Counter Shaw. I don't know if we go draft somebody, but I just can't go through another season of watching every game go down like this. I think I hit on every aspect that I wanted to hit on, man. Just some other little points. Kevin White played better. Alshon did okay. But that, even that situation, and we can't let everybody go. So I don't know what we go do about Alshon. Look, I'm already talking about all season moves, man. That's my time. I really want my videos to be five minutes. I thought this one was going to be about three. And I'm approaching eight minutes and 40 seconds over a bad loss. I don't care about the turnovers. I don't care about the score of the game. The bottom line is Carson Wentz went up and down the field. He killed us. We have no chemistry. We have nothing. And I'm highly upset, man. That's that's just all I got to say right now. Go ahead. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Comment. Let's just talk about the game, man. Let's talk about the game. Let's talk about the culture and what you guys want to see done going forward about Cutler, about Pace, about uh, Fox, maybe the McCaskies, maybe Virginia need to just go ahead and, you know, let, I don't, I mean, I don't know. I'm lost for words. Comment, Bears lose. Your boy Dynamite, I'm out. Pure.